So I want to go over some of the principles I use to build dashboards like this in Excel. It's a lot easier than you might expect. So this all starts by blocking out your design. Can we do that using shapes? It's important to think about shapes here, just like you do in PowerPoint as being layered. If we look at the design here. We've got our background shape and then more shapes layered on top of that. That's what creates the effects we have here. So once we've got that, we have to start labeling our data and adding in our text. So under insert tab, you'll see a text option over here. We just drop those in. And now when we have dynamic metrics, like metrics that need to update when the metric changes, what we're doing is we're just hitting equals in the formula bar when our text is selected and then selecting the cell we want it to look at. And then it'll update whenever that cell updates. All right, last but not least, we have to start adding in visualizations. We're gonna create a separate tab for this because we're using pivot charts. Under the insert tab, you have a pivot chart option. Always name your tables. My table is named sales in this case. <laughs> what this is gonna do is it's gonna let us select things. Let's select, uh, how about region? And let's say we wanna see profit by region. So it has generated this pivot chart. We're gonna cut and paste this. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give us a chart over here where we want it and leave the data that's gonna be moving around and changing and all that stuff in a separate tab so it doesn't make things messy. And then we just do some basic styling here. We wanna remove our background color, remove any line, you know, click in, change our fonts. And then you've got yourself a chart that's gonna update automatically according to the data in that pivot table. Now here's where it gets cool. What you can do is then start adding slicers. So when you've clicked into a pivot table under the insert tab, you're gonna have a slicer option. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a filter that you can click that will then update that table according to whatever your selection is. That's what we've done in this dashboard to create the ability to drill down like this. So you stack all that stuff together and you can start creating really amazing things. If you're scared of the visual design element, I just suggest getting sample templates and starting there. Look at somebody else's example and then just deconstruct it. I have a newsletter exactly for that where I just send out free templates to get you started. This is one of the templates I actually sent out on that newsletter. But if you don't wanna do that, just Google it. Google free dashboard templates or whatever. Find a cool example you like and then just start picking apart each piece, seeing like, hey, how is this styled? How is this customized? How are these shapes laid out? And you're gonna pick up on this stuff really fast. It seems really difficult, but just with a little bit of practice, you're gonna, you're gonna get it in no time. And thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Uh, me and Mo here say goodbye.